Hello everyone, this is Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the second time I'm trying to fill the, film this. The first time I didn't turn on my microphone, so nobody could hear me. <laughs> so anyway, we'll keep going. Um, this, um, this, I decided today to film the uh, schools out for the summer, summer teacher tag, um, that's social speechy and I think it's creative scribbles um, posted on their channel and kind of started so I saw that and thought it looked like a lot of fun so talk about summer even though it's not quite all the way summer for me because I'm still doing um, summer school so yeah it's been a long haul with this summer school even though it's only like it's only three weeks and I'm in the, my fourth week and it's almost done it feels like we're slogging our way through this slow-mo um, with zombie zombie children but I have been cramming as much reading and writing and math knowledge into their little skulls as I could we had fun I'm not being mean and like or anything not to me so anyway we have we've been doing this and it's almost over and I'm almost on summer real break now um, so anyway I'm going to answer some questions about summer school no I'm not answering questions about summer school I'm answering questions about summer much more fun here we go um, number one are you taking any trips this summer and yes I am Yay! We weren't going to originally because of buying the house and everything, but my husband has itchy feet. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Anyway, um, and we decided to actually go to San Diego for about a week at the beginning of July, hang out at the beach, go to Balboa Park, maybe visit a vineyard because I like doing that. Um, so yeah, we are going to travel and I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting out of the Tucson heat, which is kind of like trying to melt everybody. Number two, are you working or enjoying the summer off? I am working, I'm working summer school. And yes, it's only half days and it's only four days a week, but it's still work and I still have to plan. Thankfully, I haven't had to do much grading. Yay. Um, so yes, I am currently working and I will be done this Thursday. Happy days. Number three, do you prefer to spend summer days inside or outside? I live in Tucson. It is hot. It is like triple digit hot every day. So I stay inside. I stay in side where it is air conditioned and not going to burn my pasty skin right off um, but I do go out at night I do like um, like when once once the Sun starts going down I go out and I do um, take care of all my plants and I work on my little projects I like doing little furniture refinishing projects and things like that and so I'll go outside when once the sun starts to go down but other than that I stay inside <clears throat> number four yes what is your best summer memory um, this makes me have to actually think a little bit um, because I have never been a summer person I've never really cared for it it is not my favorite season but then I was homeschooled and I lived on a farm and we didn't travel much. So um, summer basically meant hot bugs and lots of work. Um, we raised chickens. You, you have to, you know, take, we usually raised them from, from poults, from chicks. And um, we always had a big garden and we had to cut hay we had to put up fence so summer was not my jam 
But nowadays, now that it is my time off and time for travel, I do enjoy it a bit more. And last year, my husband and I went uh, and took a road trip through Colorado mountains. And I love mountains. I love mountains. So um, that was fun. That's probably my best memory. Um, we went... We went to the Rocky Mountain National Park, and we went up the, um, I don't know, it's like a, a drive. You can go on this drive through the park that takes you way up to where it's got snow in the middle of summer, and that's cool. I really enjoyed that, and I think I was a little bit oxygen deprived and had a lot of fun, so uh, that's probably my favorite memory. Um, from a summer. Number five, what time do you wake up during the school year? What time do you wake up during the summer? So far this summer, I've been waking up at 530, which is the same time as I wake up during the school year because I'm still going to work. But once I don't have to go somewhere, I will probably sleep in to around 730-ish. Um, maybe eight if I'm being really, really lazy. Um, because I just, I, I don't tend to sleep in that long. Um, and when I do, I feel like my day has gone. So I, I usually wake up around 7.30ish. Number six. What book will be found in your beach bag this summer? Um, I have been having a hard time getting um, some books together. I actually, I like, I keep thinking I need to go to the library. I need to find some books because I haven't really got any. I did go on, like, we have Scrib D. And so I went on and found this book about Ulysses Grant that I'm planning to read. Um, I would look up who it's by. I think it's like a Compton somebody? I don't know exactly right now. I just downloaded it and thought I would start listening to it. Um, I have a couple, um, sorry about the alarm, if you can hear that. Somebody just went out the door without unlocking it first. <laughs> Happens way too often. Um, where was I? Oh, oh yeah. So I have a couple things that I like to read over and over again. I have an Irma Bombeck book that I pulled off the shelf the other day. I was like, I want to read this again. Um, it's called um, When You Look Like Your Passport Photo, It's Time to Go Home. And I like reading that in the summer because it's all about traveling and uh, funny situations. Um, but other than that, I really don't have anything and I need to get some reading material to sink my teeth into. Number seven, do you know where you'll be teaching next year? Is it the same grade? And yes, it is. I will be in the same grade, same school, same classroom as I have been for the last three years, and I'm okay with that. I have my contract, I'm good, all set. And I didn't have to take down all my bulletin boards. I'm so super stoked about that. All the other years that I've worked here, we have to clear the walls completely. And I'm like, oh, I hate taking down bulletin boards. I hate it. It's not fun. So I'm glad I didn't have to do that this year. They painted last year, so I'm good. Um, number nine. When do you start prepping for back to school and when do you actually go back? So I, I've been prepping since the end of school, just putting stuff together. I do need, I do need to get a few things for the first week of school that I would like to change or tweak. Um, I'll probably just do it whenever I don't have something else to do with this the rest of the summer. Um, we come back on. Teachers come back on the 25th of July, and then students come back on the 2nd of August, which is actually a little bit earlier than I was expecting and a little bit earlier than we've ever done it. Usually we come back on the 4th of August, 
but this year they're changing it up on us. Um, number 10, <clears throat> do you have any professional development plans for the summer? I don't. I, I am on a wait list for this, um, it's like teaching economics PD, but I doubt I'll get it because it seems like it's a really popular one. I did do a webinar and I do a, the occasional webinar that I'm hoping that I can get my principal to count as a PD hour. So, but other than that, my district doesn't really do a whole lot of professional development during the summer and I don't really want to sign up for anything that I have to pay for right now. I know, I'm terrible. But that's the answer to number 10. And number 11, which is the last one. Are there any songs that are summertime favorites? And <laughs> I don't know what a summertime favorite would look like. I don't have any specific music that I listen to in the summer. Though I guess I do kind of go for more upbeat type stuff. But I'm very eclectic. I just go back and forth between all kinds of styles. Um, I have been really crushing on the Greatest Showman soundtrack. That is what I listen to most of the time. I've got it like on a loop that I just listen to it over and over. And my husband's like, can you put some headphones or something on so I don't have to sing this like all the time? too. So, so now I, I can pretty much jam out with all of those songs. <laughs> I got them memorized. But I, I enjoy those songs. I, I, I like to turn on, I've got, I'm that old school person who still has Pandora. Uh, I guess it's not that old school, right? Anyway, I like, I like to turn on my Pandora, different Pandora lists. Um, so anyway, I guess that's the tag. I guess that's, that's what we got here. Finished all the questions. Enjoyed that. Enjoyed thinking about summer, at least as far as the activities. I'm not too jazzed about the heat index and, um, enjoyed it. So I hope you guys will take the time if you are a teacher or out for the summer to go ahead and answer some of the tag questions. I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to my answers. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it. Maybe subscribe. It's a thought. So I will um, catch you in the next one. Bye.